So this is me, uh, Yahya Isis from the Computer Engineering Department with uh, Dr. Uh, Fras Kafia. Uh, he's an IP commercialization uh, consultant from the Dahran Techno Valley. And he's visiting us today to learn about the interesting senior design projects uh, that our students uh, are working on. Uh, so Fras, can you introduce yourself and tell us exactly what you uh, do? Yeah, so thanks so much, uh, Dr. Yahya, for this opportunity. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be with you uh, here to see the senior projects. Uh, my name is Firas Kafia. I'm working with Bahran Techno Valley Company in the technology commercialization as a technology commercialization consultant. So basically, what, uh, why, why I'm here is to look for some of the projects that has, uh, I mean, market value and adding value to the customers uh, in order to um, help uh, commercializing uh, or uh, mentor those guys to take their ideas to the market. Uh, I learned that you are interested the most in uh, the project on RFID. Yeah. So can you tell us what do you think? Yeah, I think, I think uh, those guys they are doing uh, very well in uh, their project. Uh, but they need to, uh, of course the project was Makani, called Makani, uh, for the luggages to discover where its uh, location in different stations at the airports and uh, also to involve the uh, traveler uh, um, so he can know where exactly his luggage. This is interesting because all the solutions in uh, uh, right now uh, use, used in the airports, uh, the traveler is out of the, I mean, the equation. So those guys, they are trying their best. Uh, I, I, I think they have to learn more about the business itself. They've done some uh, customer survey and they went to the airport to ask uh, how, how it works and to, for them to give them uh, uh, some, some of the advices. But I think they have to do more and more uh, customer survey. Uh, they have to study the market. And uh, here, here is the importance of the Entrepreneurship Institute at KPUPM and al al along with the Bahrain Techno Valley Company is to build this business mindset and awareness uh, for the students, engineering uh, uh, college students. So they have to, when they think about any problem and trying to solve it uh, through their amazing uh, solutions, engineering solutions, they have also to consider many business aspects. So what kind of uh, feedback uh, you give to them? Um, I, uh, like you, you just told me that you ask them to do more about the market survey. Yeah. Uh, so did you give them any offer like they come uh, and maybe special office hour monitoring session? Or yes. So what will be the next step? Yeah, basically I advise them to uh, be enrolled in the Entrepreneurship Institute uh, um, uh, training courses and programs. They have very good programs there and also to be linked with me at any time uh, to learn and mentor them how to, uh, I mean, be there in the business and what, what kind of, uh, you know, business aspects they have to look at. So uh, if the students will come uh, and uh, participate and engage with the Entrepreneurship Institute and Bahrain Techno Valley Company uh, uh, programs, they will learn um, all what is needed for their uh, products and again uh, it is better to visit that place which is the innovation or cluster of innovation building uh, to know what's going there before even think about the ideas because when you think about your ideas and you want to come up with a solution you have first to start from the customer side I mean you have to uh, know your customers and to know to uh, uh, see what they need uh, uh, to be solved in their pain and whether the problem that you are trying to solve is pain problem or not pain uh, one of the problem that our students they face that you know we are at the end of the semester and they get busy with the final exams and uh, most of them they are going to graduate at the end of this semester uh, do you have any mechanism to follow up with them or once they basically leave KPUBM uh, you lose the contact with them no, uh, actually, I, I just advised uh, those guys, uh, and they are. F I think this is the final uh, uh, semester for them. Mm -hmm. That to have a team, any idea, any successful story has. I, I mean, in behind there is a team. So uh, they, 
wherever they will go, maybe they don't believe that they are right entrepreneurs to continue their ideas, but at least not to lose the chance. I mean, they spend uh, time and effort in what they are doing. So I advise them is to be linked even in part time with, with that building and also to grab some of the students that they have not finished and build, I mean, uh, invite them to be part of the team to continue the efforts and for them to be part-timers in, in, in future. So basically you are telling them that uh, they have to approach the Entrepreneurship Institute, the AI in the Dharan Tekno Valley, and they have to enroll in their courses. This is basically their first step uh, before uh, they can uh, commercialize uh, their product. Yeah, yeah uh, they will learn more about how the commercialization and by the way, why to move there? Because the Haran Tekno Valley Company basically have fund and mandate to KFUBM students and, and projects. And that's why I'm here. Uh, we, we've been asked, asked to look at the senior projects in different departments and try to see what, what projects that has potential in the market and that has customers and to work with them and their, uh, I mean, uh, advisors to, to commercialize their products. Uh, in fact, I have been telling the students that after they graduate, there is like, they have to stay for some of them before they receive their first job offer, like they have to stay for six months uh, as a wait uh, time. So I always ask them that during this six months, they go to the Entrepreneurship Institute and maybe enroll in one of their programs and work on their ideas. Uh, and if they get a job, a good job, and they decide to basically go for the job, then they can work on this project as a side project. Yeah. So do, they, do you welcome them as part-timer? Do, do you have any stories where there are students who are part-timer, they work until 4, and then they come to their work on their ideas after 4 p.m. in the AI? Yeah, it's open. I mean, the building is open. I advise everyone to be part-timer. But for any idea, to be honest, if you want to succeed uh, in your ideas and to work for it and to take it to the next level, which is the market, you have to have at least one of the members, uh, team members, free for the idea, um, live for the idea. And uh, no worries about uh, being part-timer, uh, no problem. I just also advise one, one of the guys that if you believe and you're passionate about your idea, you can even, you know, give yourself uh, one year after graduation, test yourself, learn the this this uh, uh, field, which is the entrepreneurship, because it's it, it worth it. Yeah. Uh, I think, from my experience, I, I learned about one student who spent like a year. Uh, he turned down all the job offers and he just wanted to work on his idea. So, can you tell us about his story and where uh, he is right now? Uh, you mean, who, who is you the, mean the one with the curriculum uh, thing? Curriculum the, or core equal? Uh, Hamad al Mekbil? Ah, uh, Hamad al Mekbil, yes. Yeah, Hamad al Mekbil. So, uh, so, he's still working on his idea or? Um, uh, unfortunately, right now he is. Um, uh, he he's has, working. Yeah, he's working in Riyadh, but still he's part timer. But and at he, least he spent like one year working on his idea. He's been more than idea. one year. He's been more than one year and. Through this, uh, I mean, uh, first year or the year, uh, they successfully secured the fund from the Haran Tekno Valley Company. And right now they are developing their, uh, I think, beta version of, uh, of their prototype. So yeah, Hamad was free. And uh, because of that, he did a great uh, job and they secured fund. And this, this is a great milestone for uh, any idea to uh, have a fund at early stage in order to, de to develop the prototypes and, and, and finally to get to the product uh, uh, stage. I know it's very challenging for you, especially here in the kingdom, that the market is very demanding yeah. and you cannot keep the students, like in the best case, for more than yeah. six or uh, one year. Yeah. So do you have any future plans or a new mechanism to deal with uh, such cases? Um, entrepreneurship, uh, they have uh, such plans. Uh, I think they have a new program called 9th. Uh, I don't know if they changed the name or not. Uh, in this program, actually, they brought a fund uh, for the students to be free for one year to test themselves, to work on their ideas. Uh, and they will be paid? Uh, yeah. They salaries? Paid. Yeah, salaries. They are Good. getting salaries, uh, monthly salaries, compensations. And they are, I even uh, have, uh, uh, has housing inside the KFUPM and uh, all the facilities that's open for them uh, uh, in the university and also in the uh, EI. Uh, that's interesting. So I, I think they can learn more about this program on the ai.kfubm.edu. Yes, yes, uh, I the, encourage the, everyone to visit the 
Do you have any final word for the students, uh, especially our students, the computer engineering students? Yeah, um, and to all students, I, I think it's worth it. Uh, entrepreneurship is something unique. You will live for yourself, you will live for your brain, uh, you will learn leadership, and this is very important. And even if your journey uh, in entrepreneurship uh, you failed, which is normal uh, in this in this area, uh, but at least you will have a unique mindset where you combine your engineering skills with the business skills and leadership. Very important for the students. Uh, in future, if you have failed and you uh, uh, decided to go for any job, you will find yourself again uh, uh, unique because of the leadership uh, uh, skills that you've learned in, the, in that journey. So I encourage everyone to have this experience and to test himself and uh, to be part of the success. Okay, thank you, Dr. Faraz. I really so wish you the Shukran, best. Dr. Thanks so much.